our last robot, the GV3, was a big step forward in the right direction and it described our vision for an FLA robot. This time, we re-engineered our robot from the ground up. We took all of the beloved features from our last generation and made it even better. Let me present to you the space bot. The SpacePod has an even smaller form factor than its predecessor, without compromising on performance. The robot was built with shape in mind. We built it as compact as we possibly could and made every side flush to open up more abilities where our attachments can be built and mounted. It also features two well-positioned color sensors to enable more possibilities than ever before. To improve on accuracy, we also mounted a gyroscope in the middle of SpacePot. The gyroscope works close together with two large motors which drives the tires. The gyro sensor will continuously send data of the robot's current heading so that the motors automatically can adjust the speed to make the robot turn more exact and go straighter. Through our years in the competition, we have learned a lot about the importance of the right tyre. We have tried many different ones, including caterpillar tracks, tall and thin motorcycle wheels, to small and thick 8 wheel wheels. The conclusion we came to was that we wanted a balance of everything. Not too thick and not too thin, not too tall and not too small. We have also made the front panel of the robot easy to remove to have easy investigation and repair in the unlikely event of something failing. If you take a closer look inside, we can see the mechanism that makes our attachments move. Last year, we realized that our robot didn't have enough torque to drive some of our heavy attachments. That is why we use warm gears to drive our attachments this year, and that helps us to get the optimum power that is required. To connect the axle with the attachments, we use the pinless design also called dog gear. We feel really confident this year with SpaceBot, and we hope this video will inspire you and your team when you're designing your own robot. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck!